Hey, thank you for joining me. How to make a career in public speaking. You really want to do this. I'm excited to tell you how. I've been doing it now for 25 years, and I'm really grateful that we have a chance to talk about how you can make this happen for yourself. I'm going to teach you how to get some of your first paid gigs, how you're going to work on branding and so forth, but especially I want you to understand you're in good hands. I've been doing this for a long time, like I said, and I'm in the Speaker Hall of Fame. One of the things that's important about learning how to make a career of this is that it's not for everybody. And yet the people that it is for, it's a calling. It's something that's essential in your life to make it so that you say to yourself, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I went for it. I'm glad you're watching this video. I have some cool ideas for you, so let's dive in. Before we jump into my tips and tricks I'm going to give you, I want you to think about for yourself the reason you want to do this. You have to have a strong why. <laughs> Simon Sinek has taught us that if you've read his Start With Why book. And if you haven't, go check that out. Why do you want to be a public speaker? Why do you want to make a career of it? Depends perhaps on the career you have currently or maybe it's some great dream you've always had. I believe that anybody can make it happen but they have to be fully committed to doing a lot of things and it's not just a simple hobby to create. This is an actual career. And so I'm excited to be able to share with you some of the ways that I've made it work for me as well as some other great examples that I'm going to share with you and how you can do it yourself. So first of all, you need to discover your unique voice. What does that mean? Well, think about a singer. Every singer has something that makes them stand out from everybody else. That's the reason we like them. And so when it comes to a singer, they have a signature move. That's their voice. Well, what is your unique voice? What it comes down to is finding your niche. And if you're on a different part of the country, it's niche. So I like to say niche. What is your niche? What's your expertise? What are you good at? What have you already proven to be able to speak about? I mean, obviously you've figured out your why. You've taken a minute just as I mentioned that to think about it for yourself, but now let's talk about your niche. That is your unique proposition. That's the thing that makes you extraordinary as to why they would hire you. And you have to figure out where you're going to focus your time, if it's going to be in the education market or in the corporate market with associations, with government, with the community, with nonprofits and charitable organizations. I mean, there's a lot of places where you could focus. And so when it comes to your niche, what is it that you're known for and what is it that makes you stand out in this world? Let me tell you about a friend of mine. His name is Ben Kerr. Ben Kerr has an extraordinary look about him because he was born with a facial deformity and he's used that in order to make his career extraordinary. Now this guy, he's gone through some tough stuff. He's got what's called Cruzon syndrome. And if you go to bencare.com, you'll see that he looks different from most people. This is what's so interesting about Ben. A lot of people may try to hide how they're looking and other people like Ben lean into it and say, this is me, I'm going for it. He's become an incredible wrestler, in fact, a world champion. He's become an Olympian. He's a real estate mogul and he's one of the great speakers in the world. He started out by speaking to youth in schools, assemblies. Now, imagine how tough this would be, getting up in front of kids that probably would make fun of him before he even starts speaking. He knows this because that's how he grew up. He was called that kid with all those mean things that kids say. And so he's the perfect guy to speak at a school. He's the perfect person to talk through people that are unconfident in themselves or not sure why they look or sound different or they're weird from other people. And so he gets up there and he just talks about the reality that that's his life and that we all need to embrace that which makes us unique and different. And so what he teaches, I'm also teaching here. Find your unique niche. Find that which makes you awesome. Because Ben Kerr has, he has a beautiful family, he has amazing children. I mean, this guy is succeeding at the highest level. He's going to be a household name very soon because he's continuing not just to speak to kids, but now people are discovering him and he's getting opportunities to speak on the biggest stages in the world with the most motivational people in the world because he's one of them too. So when you found out your unique niche, now it's time to build your personal brand. Whether it's the personal or the corporate or the career brand, it can all be one and the same. 
You see, when you discover your brand, it becomes your signature move. That's what you're known for. That's why they'll bring you in to speak. You see, I found out when I was quite young that I could sing, I could dance, I could do faces and voices. Now, that is a unique proposition. That allows me to be hired for the reason of people wanting to laugh or have music. And then as a speaker, I've had to kind of overcome some of that by saying I have great content that mixes with all the entertainment pieces. That's been a trick for me. But building your brand is a very important piece in order to start your career as a speaker. So what is your signature move? What is it that makes you unique? Your signature move is in my opinion, that thing you have to know in order to be able to sell yourself. That becomes your brand. And so I can teach you how to discover it. I call it the ICM process. It's identify, clarify, magnify. In fact, I have something really cool that I'd love to give you if you want to go check it out. It's free and it's just a great assessment as to how you can discover your signature moves for your own branding, for your own niche, for your own expertise, and to create your career. If you're really ready to launch, then you need to go check this out. So I need you to go get the ICM process at jasonhewlett.com forward slash ICM. When you go to jasonhewlett.com forward slash ICM, what you'll find is an assessment form. It's very simple as well as a little video of me introducing what it is for you. As you start into this process, you're going to identify that which makes you unique. You're going to clarify with other people if they think that as well. And then you're going to magnify your gifts from there. It may sound like a real simple thing, but I'm telling you, it's profound and it will change your life. Next, you need to craft compelling content. This is where you're going to create engaging and compelling content. In other words, you figure out how to give a speech. There's the body, the intro, the outro, the ending, all of these pieces that are going to come together to make it so that you have a great speech that you can deliver. This is the foundation of the basis of a speaking career. If somebody says to me, I want to be a speaker and they don't have a great speech, then I say, hey, you need to work on that first. But yes, then you can make a career from there. So create your content. One of the most important things that was never taught to me and I want to teach you about is that writing a book about your content and about your speech is one of the best things you could do. First of all, it helps you get your ideas into a package that you know exactly what you're gonna say. Next, it gives you a chance to sell something from the stage that the audience can take with them. Now, the speakers that don't have a book, they're missing out on a great opportunity. And I don't take the books to my gigs, I just don't have time to do that or the energy at this point. And I probably lose a little bit of sales, that's okay, I just direct them to Amazon. That's way easier for all of us. But I want you to know, had I written a book earlier in my career, my career would have taken off way faster. So I'd recommend, as soon as you've got your ideas and content down, write a book. Let's talk about mastering the art of delivery. As a speaker, you want to have great content, you want to know what you're about, but you need to be masterful on the stage. That's the best way to get as many speeches as possible. The better you are, the more opportunities you'll get. I speak for free quite a bit because I know that it's going to lead to the next opportunity. There are some speakers that won't do it, but I like it because it helps me master the craft even better. It also gives me that opportunity to network myself and people get to watch me and say, wow, he's so good, I want him at my event. Mastering your craft means doing it a lot, recording yourself, getting feedback, watching it back, and becoming that much better every time. Let's talk about networking and building connections. You don't want to be in the silo of having a career as a speaker and not really talking to anybody because it is a lonely career. You want to get into networking and connecting with other speakers. Now this isn't for competition, this is more for the community of being together. And sometimes people take that as a competitive situation. I wouldn't recommend that. I would say go at the community as a servant, somebody who's there to lift, to cheer everybody else on. There's a community called the National Speakers Association, which I have been a part of for 20 years. I'm grateful for my associations there, and in fact, in, instead of finding people that are my rivals, which I do lose work to a lot of the speakers at the National Speakers Association, here's what also happens. When I lose work to them and they do well, because they're my friends. A majority of the time, the planner will say after their speech, who do you recommend we have next time? And they'll say, you should have Jason Hewlett. He's one of my dear friends and he would be awesome next year. So having a community allows others to refer you and you to refer them. This is a great opportunity to network, to learn more about the business, to cut out a lot of the distraction or the, uh, 
the obstacles that a lot of speakers have gone through, now you get to leapfrog because they teach you. And that's because you're willing to network with those in the speaking community. So now let's talk about getting your first gigs. Oh yeah, this is exciting. I mean, obviously, I don't know if you've spoken a lot already or if you're doing this for the very first time, but I can tell you this much. Getting your first gigs are hard and it's exciting at the same time. Here's the strategy I'll give you. Let everybody know everywhere that you're a speaker. You need to tell everyone. You need to post it online. You need to make videos about it. It's important to have a website, at least a landing page. And if you don't have that yet, then at least update your LinkedIn profile. But as you start to tell others that you're now a speaker, they're going to do all they can to help you to launch and to catapult into the new realm of being a public speaker. If you really want this career, there's opportunities all around. A lot of people won't put in the work. A lot of people won't even join a community because they think, well, I'll just do it on my own. Don't do that. Don't be that person. If you want to make it, if you want to get your first few gigs, I have an idea for you. Go check out liftofflab.com. Yes, I'm talking about lifting off like a career is starting in an airplane. And it's run by Cheryl Knowlton. She's one of my dear friends and one of the best coaches in the world at how to launch your career, become not only great in the business, but also on stage. Go to liftofflab.com. This is a community of great speakers that are Hall of Famers and people just starting out. Everyone working to help one another to improve their speaking, mastering their stage presence, and having a career as a public speaker. I hope you'll check it out.